Hello, my amazing artists. Last class, we painted our watercolor skies. Today, we will be adding those details in pen to our landscape. I'm going to trace over that irregular zigzag line with my black pen. Then I'm ready to add the shadows on the left side of my mountain. I'm going from the top of my mountain, making a wavy or zigzag line, and ending at the bottom of my mountain. And adding some straight lines into those shadows to create texture into my mountain. Just to get a closer look at how to do those shadows, let's look at that again. As if light was shining in from the right side, I'm going to draw a line from the top of my mountain to the bottom of my mountain to create a shadow on the left side. It can be a wavy line or a zigzag line. They don't have to be perfect. This just shows how rocky and irregular mountains actually are. Then I'm adding in those kind of sketchy diagonal lines. I don't really need to color them in. These sketchy type of lines create sort of a texture and that's what I'm going for. I'm adding a straight line below my mountains. This is my horizon line where the ground is. Then I'm going in with a wavy or a zigzag line all the way to the bottom of my paper. Now I'm just adding some more textures to the side of my mountain, some dots and some marks. This can be really random because mountains never all look the same or perfect. Now for my trees, I'm going to start by drawing out the height of my tree for the tree trunk. I'm going to draw them in different sizes to show perspective. Trees really close up in the foreground will get big, trees in the middle ground will be medium, and trees far away in the background are going to be really small. For my tree branches, I start at the top. My lines are straight and diagonal going up. And as I go down to the bottom of my trunk, my lines get longer to make my tree look fuller. There's a guide at your table to help you make your trees, but just like always, you can make yours special to you. They don't have to look like mine. Another way to make trees is to point your lines downwards. They are going diagonal, but they're pointing down. They're shorter at the top, and then they get longer as they get to the bottom. Sometimes the lines for your branches may be straight, sometimes they may curve. You can go back in to make them look fuller and thicker. Afterwards, I'm just adding some shadows beside my trees, some random marks and dots to add some textures in the snow. Maybe you want to go back in and add a house or a cabin, some more trees. You can make it unique to you. If you'd also like to use a thicker Sharpie, we also have those to add your trees that may look darker and fuller. Here I am just adding some more details, some short little lines for grass around my trees. For my final, final step, we have white gel pens if you would like to add some stars in your sky. To look like there's stars really far away, I just did some tiny X's and lowercase T's. These are our special gel pens, so it's not for coloring in anything, they're just for adding the tiny little details to our sky. Okay artists, I can't wait to see how your landscapes turn out. I'm excited to see what unique touches you add to your landscapes. Have fun!